Hey guys, what's up? My name is Eric and I'm the Techie Agent and today we're going to do our first in a series of reviews covering the Garmin Phoenix 5. Now this particular review will cover the Garmin Phoenix 5X and actually this will apply to all of the different models but we'll be using the Garmin Phoenix 5X. Now we're going to be ex attaching external heart rate sensors to the Garmin Phoenix 5X today even though it has a built-in optical heart rate sensor. In terms of accuracy, if you're going for the very best accuracy you possibly can get, you'll want to attach an external heart rate sensor. So that's what we're going to be doing here today. We're going to be attaching the Polar H7, the Skosh Rhythm Plus armband, the Move HR headband, and then even the Jabra Sport Pulse uh, Special Edition headphones that have built-in heart rate tracking. Now the way that you pair the Garmin Phoenix 5 with an external heart rate sensor, or any sensor for that matter, is by entering in the settings menu, and then you'll scroll down to the point of where it allows you to attach external sensors and accessories. Once you select that, you'll be able to scroll through the variety of different sensors that are already paired with the device, including sensors that are on board, including the compass, altimeter, the barometer, and you can make adjustments turning them on or off and doing various things like that. But we're gonna add a new sensor here, so we're gonna click Add New, and you can either search for all sensors that might be available, or you can pick specific uh, kinds of sensors that you're wanting to pair. So we're gonna do an external heart rate sensor Sensor, turn on the Skosh Rhythm Plus, and then you'll see here that it does find it. And actually, the Skosh Rhythm Plus has both a Bluetooth and an ANT Plus signal, and the Phoenix 5X was able to see both of those and, and attach to both of those signals. So you can use either one, whichever you prefer. So now that that sensor is attached, you can go into the workout menu, select a workout, and you'll notice that the internal heart rate sensor, the built in optical heart rate sensor, is not turned on and in a moment it'll say that it's attached or that it's found uh, an external heart rate sensor that it's connected to the device that it's going to be using instead of the onboard sensor. And that's pretty much it. That's how you attach an external heart rate sensor. And using that simple little setup process that I just showed you, I had a great success pairing with all of the other sensors, both Bluetooth and ANT Plus alike. With the one exception of the Move HR sweatband, which I was really disappointed in because it's a Bluetooth headset or head um, headband that I recently acquired that I was really looking forward to using with this. It pairs with my Garmin Vivo Active HR, so it's really weird that it didn't pair with the Garmin Phoenix 5, uh, but it just was not able to do that. And I made sure that it wasn't accidentally paired with any other device or my phone, but no matter how many times I searched and no matter what I did, it was not able to locate and find the Move HR uh, external heart rate sensor. But every other sensor that I tested worked great. It was easily able to find them. And then one of the things is after you pair a sensor with the device, you can go back in after the fact and scroll through and see all of the different sensors that it's connected to. Again, both the onboard sensors and the ones that you've previously connected with. So you can go in, you can delete them, you can edit them. You, they will show up as having been connected before. And then you can select which one you might want to use then uh, in terms of when you go to work out. So it's pretty much that easy. It paired with all of those external sensors that they're now saved on my device on the Phoenix 5 and I'm able to use those sensors when I go to work out with the one exception of the Move HR. So stay tuned for more Phoenix 5 videos. I'm going to be doing a series on this device since it is a very broad device and there's lots of different applications and things that this can track. So stay tuned for more of those videos. Thanks for watching. My name is Eric and I'm the Techie agent. We'll catch you next time.